Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. In this set of videos we are talking about citizenship and different provisions thereof. Uh, we're, we're on a, per, a subject called acquisition of citizenship and that is where you are born outside the United States and then the question is whether you are a US citizen. Now you have to look initially back at your mother and father and or and see if they were born inside the US and there's normally a requirement a residence or physical presence requirement of the USC parent now the the congressional acts providing for acquisition of citizenship require that the USC parent to reside or be physically present in the US for certain time periods prior to the birth of the child so that that parent may transmit the citizenship to the child so more or less if if the USC parent was just born in the US and then left and never uh, was in the US again it's unlikely they will be able to transmit citizenship However, the transmission requirements are established by law in effect at the time of the child's birth. So, if you look at the different laws as, as they've gone through all the years, they, they do differ. Some are more difficult than others, some are easier, some of the retention requirements are not as great. So, there there is a, a different set of uh, residence and physical presence requirements depending on the year that the child was born. Now, residence may also continue even if the parent was studying abroad temporarily. Okay, then you can still consider that as to be a resident. Now, you, you need to look at all the time that the parent was in the US. So it could be, you know, times they were on vacation in the US, uh, times they were temporarily working, times they were visiting, times they were going to school, uh, and so forth. So, you know, for, for purposes of physical presence, the, the time period need not be counted to the minute, and a parent who was born in the U.S. for a sufficient number of years may transmit that citizenship even if the exact days, months, or hours are unknown so that's a good burden of proof and uh, situation where you know they're not going to be you know having a stopwatch uh, and you know making sure that every single moment was in as long as you can reasonably show that you were in for the proper period of time to uh, transmit the citizenship okay more on the coming videos